hello everyone this is our set of the day it says a cricket club has hired six coaches pqrstu to give the coaching in at least one of the three areas batting bowling and fielding and certain conditions are given certain information is given regarding these coaches that p can give coaching only in batting while r and q can give coaching in batting and fielding but not in the bowling and so the same kind of information information is given with the for the rest of the three coaches stu now it's also given that the manager of the club creates a schedule uh, of the coaching for the entire uh, week of 7 days and if he schedules coaching for any day of the week then he has to schedule exactly one session of each of the three given areas and while scheduling he has to satisfy the following conditions that in the entire week any coach gives coaching in not more than two sessions so a coach cannot a uh, coach uh, let's say three sessions of batting or three sessions of bowling he can at max coach two sessions of a particular area and in the whole week the coach cannot coach for more than three sessions and any coach takes a maximum of one session in a day and a minimum of one session in the entire week so this is the information given to us let us try to accumulate this information and uh, solve this set <coughs> so it is given that in the point a that p can give coaching only in batting so let's say let us check how many maximum sessions can be done for each and every week person so p can give coaching only in batting so that means p can give only two sessions and those two sessions will be of batting right he cannot have more than two sessions in the week because it is given that in the entire week any coach uh, cannot give more than two sessions of the same area next uh, we have q and r so q can coach in batting and fielding so that means he can give three sessions two could be of batting and one could be of fielding or one could be of batting and two could be of fielding right same is true for r he can also give three sessions uh two could be of batting and one of fielding or the other case is that either one is for batting and two is for fielding two sessions of fielding and one session of batting but he can only coach for three sessions now it says t can uh, give coaching in batting and bowling so t can coach in batting and bowling both so he can also have three sessions either two batting one bowling or one batting and two bowling s can give coaching both in bowling and fielding so s can give coaching both in bowl, bowling and fielding so that means uh, he can also give three sessions uh, s can give coaching in both bowling and fielding so three sessions either two will be of bowling and one of fielding or one will be of fielding and two of bowling so this is the case for s uh, sorry not uh, yes t right one of fielding and two of bowling no mistake one of bowling and two of fielding and for you you can give coaching only in the bowling so he can have maximum two sessions and both will be of bowling so these are the sessions which can be given by these uh, six coaches now let's see the questions the first one says what is the minimum number of days in which there will be no coaching scheduled for the entire week so we have to find the minimum number of days when there will be no coaching so if you if, if i want to find the minimum number of days when there is no coaching that means i have to maximize the number of days when there will be a coaching i have to maximize the days when there is a coaching 
okay now i know that p can take two sessions at max q can take three sessions r can take three sessions p can take three sessions s can take three sessions and u can take two sessions so if i add up all these sessions it will be 2 plus 3 5 plus 3 8 11 14 16 so in total there are 16 sessions which can be uh, uh, given to the uh, players right 16 sessions could be given to the players by these six coaches and since it is given that if the coaching for any day is planned then it will be planned for all the three areas if the schedule Uh, for any day, uh, is the, if 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 the coaching is scheduled for any day of the week, then he has to schedule exactly one session of each of the three given areas. So this we have to keep in mind. Now, since there could be at max sixteen sessions, total section sessions are sixteen. Total there are sixteen sessions, and we need to uh, give sessions uh, three sessions uh, per day. at least three sessions per day that means the number of days uh, would be in which these 16 sessions will be imparted would be five days right since at least three sessions should be there one for batting one for bowling and one for fielding total sessions are 16 every day three sessions are compulsory so that means 16 by 3 five days would be there when we can arrange these 16 sessions Obviously, three fives are fifteen, so we can uh, arrange fifteen sessions out of these sixteen in five days, right? So, out of seven days of the week, maximum five days could be there when uh, coaching can be given to the players. That means there would be two days when there is no coaching. So, no coaching days are two. So, this is the minimum value, right? No coaching days are two. So, there would be two days when there is no coaching. So answer is option three. next says which the following cannot be the list of the persons who can who all can give coaching on the same day now if you look at the option 3 pqr the first three people p can bat q can bat and field, uh, do fielding r can also bat and uh, coach in fielding right so neither of these three people can coach in bowling neither of these three people can coach in bowling that means pqr cannot impart coaching on the same day because in that case no one will be there to uh, coach in the bowling department so answer is pqr next says due to some personal issues t and u are available only for the first day of the week so t and u they are available for only first day that is they are available on let's say monday monday only right what is the maximum possible number of days on which the club can provide the coaching so t and u they are available on monday only you can impart coaching in bowling right and uh, he is available only on monday t can uh, give coaching either in batting or bowling right so that means on the first day t or u let's say u is giving coaching in bowling on the first day on monday u is coaching the bowling and t is coaching batting on the first day right and after that these two people are not available to us so this is just for the monday there could be any person among r or q who who can be uh, coaching the fielding department let's say q is uh, imparting the coaching of in fielding right so this could be the case for monday now these two people are not available uh, for the next uh, whole week t and u they are not available now only one person is left now s who can impart coaching in bowling since pqr they cannot give coaching in bowling department so only s is left which can impart coaching in bowling and at max he can have two days uh, for bowling that means on tuesday s can coach in bowling similarly on wednesday s can coach in bowling right and uh, the remaining two departments can be allocated to pqr in any order but it is clear that s can impart coaching now on either tuesday and wednesday right after that s will not be available for bowling since only two sessions can be given on the same area in the whole week 
that means after wednesday uh, t is not available for bowling s is not available for bowling u is not available for bowling that means no one is available for bowling that means at max there could be three days in the week when the coaching can be uh, imparted or coaching can be given right so answer is option 3 that uh, maximum 3 days uh, for maximum 3 days the club can provide the coaching to the players so this was all about this set thank you to all of you